here, we believe deeply every senior in our nation should be able to live with security, stability, and dignity. And so in the United States of America, no senior should have to choose between either filling their prescription or paying their rent. I'm proud to announce that Medicare has reached agreement with all manufacturers on all 10 drugs selected in the first round of negotiations. This time, we finally beat Big Pharma. They did, to an extent, when it comes to 10 very specific pharmaceutical drugs. And when it comes to Medicare being able to negotiate the prices of those specific drugs. So last week, without any media attention whatsoever, Kamala Harris and Joe Biden actually announced the results of Medicare's first ever negotiation with drug manufacturers. So uh, the Medicare system engaged in those negotiations. We now know what those results are. And it's important to understand what those results are, right? Credit where credit is due. So how much money? Will these negotiations now save uh, the American people in the form of tax resources, of course, and the Medicare system overall? Now, first, we need to note that the prices are reduced specifically for seniors on Medicare. Okay, this is not for everyone uh, who needs these medications. This is specifically for Medicare. So we've been critical because we don't feel that this goes far enough, but it's still a gain, a positive gain for Americans. Uh, so we will give credit for that. And uh, the lower prices, by the way, won't even take effect until 2026. But with all of that aside, let's take a look at the specific drugs and how much the Medicare system will now save on these drugs. So you have uh, Jardians, uh, which is a diabetes drug. Um, there's now a 66% discount from the 2023 list price, so $197. Uh, then you have uh, Genuvia, which is also a diabetes drug now costs $113, which is a 79% discount. And then FIASP, which is a diabetes drug, $119, a 76% discount. Yeah, Anna, so there's two things here. One is uh, giving the Biden administration credit because you know they had only done one drug. Now it is up to 10 drugs. There's still thousands of other drugs, but this the price discounts here are significant. And the Republicans would have never done this and didn't do this. So credit work credit. Now moving on to the second part of the story, which is as important. Look at the highway robbery. I know. Okay, so it, they negotiated these prices down finally because they were allowed to negotiate, right? And it turns out, look, remember the prices that the companies agree to, they're still making a significant profit. Nobody's gonna make a drug where they lose money. That's not a thing that happens, right? So all of these, the new prices are still a big profit. So all of the money we're saving now was excess profit that they were charging because they had monopoly power. Because they could tell the, the government instead of the other way around, you don't set prices, you don't negotiate prices in a free market. There is no free market. We set the prices and you pay whatever goddamn ransom we tell you to pay, right? So when you see the ones that Anna mentioned there, we're saving around 300 bucks per um drug in a lot of these drugs, and that's 66, 79% discount, et cetera. Those are giant discounts. But wait till you get a, a, a load of these ones. So I, I'll, get, I'll tell you the names in a second. But there was one drug where uh, we saved $4,751. That's insanity. How many times can you take that drug? So it used to be, it's the new price is already still super high. 2,355, this is a drug called Enbro, okay? Oh my gosh, yeah. I have so much to say about this, go ahead. Okay, yeah. so it used to be 2,355, I'm sorry, it is now, it's going to be 2,355. It was $7,106, so they were charging an extra $4,751 on top of an already really good profit. Yep. And then another drug, they were charging an extra $5,615 and then, on Stellara, they're now we're now still have to pay four thousand six hundred ninety five, but it used to be thirteen thousand eight hundred thirty six dollars. Yeah. They were overcharging us by nine thousand one hundred forty one dollars. Insane! I have Highway to, robbery. I have to jump in on those drugs. Can we put that last graphic up again? Because uh, I want to specifically talk about Enbrel and uh, Stellara. Those are psoriasis medications, and so I have psoriasis, and it's awful, and 
when these drugs came on the market, I was like, yes, finally, because prior to that, your only treatment is like a steroid ointment, which isn't good for you, honestly, right? There are like side effects to that. And so I went to my dermatologist and I said, I'm, I want to learn more about Stellar or Enbrel, right? I, I want to take one of these medications instead of use this uh, steroid ointment. And she said, okay, yeah, that's great. But here's the thing, because these drugs are overpriced to that extent, health insurance, and I'm covered, CYT has great health insurance. Thank you, Jake. But all the health insurance companies refuse to just cover it outright. And instead, they want to force the patient to try all sorts of other BS treatments that don't work, exhaust all of those treatments, and then maybe they'll cover it. And so try a gluten-free diet. No, I'm not going to try a gluten-free diet. I'm not allergic to gluten. Like, I'm not going to do that to myself. Uh, use tanning beds because UV light might actually help treat your psoriasis. No, I'm not going to go to tanning beds. That obviously has other really serious side effects. And so I decided to forego the medication that I need for my autoimmune issue, uh, psoriasis. And it's disgusting. And it's all because of what the pharmaceutical companies are charging for that drug. Guys, this is not a thing that happens in other countries. This is not a thing that happens in a free market. You don't get to say, hey, this drug would make a huge profit at $4,700, but we're going to add. Five thousand dollars on top, yeah. Because what would happen normally is you'd have competition, and somebody else would also make the drug, and then that would lower the price of drugs. Now we know that creating these drugs costs a lot of money. That's why we give you a patent for a certain number of years. It used to be five years, and they extended it to twelve years, so that they have monopoly power for an extra seven years. And every year they have that monopoly power, they're robbing you, robbing you. Five thousand more, five thousand more, five thousand more, right? And then and they added insult to injury by saying. Not only are we going to have these patent monopolies, and not only are we going to make them almost forever, but on top of that, the government is not allowed to negotiate on behalf of the American people. It's crazy. It's unheard of. It's unheard of. So there is no other country where corporate rule is this maniacal, where they say, who cares about capitalism and free markets? You'll pay whatever we goddamn tell you to pay. Otherwise, we're going to kill you. We're not going to. Now, psoriasis is one thing, but a lot of these illnesses, can kill you. Yes. Yep. So they're like, okay, what are you going to do? I got your family member as a hostage now. And if you don't pay me thirteen thousand dollars, I'm going to kill him by not giving him the medicine. One of those. And by the way, sorry, Anna. Yep. Sixty-eight thousand people a year die in this country every single year because they don't have insurance and they can't afford these uh, prices. So the amount of like corporate rule literally kills people, and this is how it kills people. No, I mean, you talk about how a lot of these drugs are necessary to survive, to live. And uh, you know, Imbruvica, which is a blood cancer drug, even with the 38% discount guys, Medicare is paying $9,319 for that drug. How is someone who's not on Medicare, okay, because remember, this is a policy that only impacts Medicare, so they can negotiate the drug prices down. How does someone, an American, who isn't even fortunate enough to have any insurance at all, how are they supposed to afford that drug? I just talked to our doctor, okay, and he explained to me. Um, he said we, someone had not hit Medicare age yet, so the insurance kept blocking them, blocking them. We're like, and he's like, we need to treat her with this thing, and it's not a big deal, right? But it costs money. But then her leg's going to be totally fine. And they're like, nope, 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 nope. And they made her wait two years until she got to Medicare. And by that time, the problem with the leg was so bad, they had to amputate. Oh, she lost the leg to corporate rule. I mean, like, we could do this. It's almost like Trump practice that we're doing, like, the 64 worst things corporate rule has done, except it wouldn't be 64, it'd be thousands and thousands of things. And so, and of it's course, why no nobody ever does anything about all of these obvious over the top outrages is because we have corporate politicians and corporate media. Bingo. Yeah. And you know, it is strange that I care so deeply about this since I don't even have children. Or <laughs> <laughs> uh, maybe it's because you have a dog instead of a cat. We just figured it maybe. out. Maybe. Yeah. 
Hey, thanks for watching our video. We really appreciate it, guys. And we appreciate it if you become members because that allows us to be independent, honest, progressive, all the things that you don't get from corporate media. And all of that is because of you guys. Hit the join button below and become one of us. Become a young Turk.